I remember being in a class in college and the teacher said, are you willing to chase this phantom of being an artist even if you never succeed? And if the answer is yes, then you're in the right place. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna chase that phantom. There were a lot of years there where I didn't paint full time. I had a day job and I would paint at night. When we bought our house, we like unpacked and two days later we went and got a little lab. And she changed my career. I remember quitting my day job and being like, I'm gonna do this art thing full time. Buttercup was so fun and she taught me so much about playing and being happy and having joy and I love painting the action shots especially the dogs in the water because it's like they're at Disneyland. I have two ways that I'll paint dogs. Sometimes it's just all oils start to finish and other times it's an acrylic beginning. It's like splashy and transparent and lots of little layers building up and it starts painting itself and I try to limit my involvement in the paint so that the painting becomes what it's trying to. And then I'll go back over that once that's totally dry with oils to do those finishing like frosting touches of the light on the dog's face and the sparkles on the water. Any of those kinds of details that make it pop and make it mine. I love that up close, they're a mess. Like the paint is alive. And then from far away, it looks like a picture. I have an abstraction about my work, but it still looks really real. I'm exactly where I've always wanted to be right now, today. I'm doing what I've worked to do. I have put in the hours and the time, and I have had all the failures, and I have no regrets. I get to make things with my hands that someone else will hang on their walls that makes them happy. Like, dream come true. The end, cut, like, I love my life.